Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. So Bill, today what we're talking about is, we talk about buying houses all the time and what to look for when buying a house. You know, how much land the house has, you know, how many rooms, what to look for when buying a house. But we never did a video about things that you don't want to buy. It could be the perfect house, but if it's next to a certain thing, a certain maybe, you know, say it's next to an airport, okay, it's one of the things. Maybe you don't want to buy it because of the airplanes flying over your house every five minutes or ten minutes. You know, like, okay. I'll give you an example about that. This person bought a house and they went to the house two or three times and then they said this is the house and they actually closed on the house. Okay. Okay. And then about two, three weeks later, I called them about something and I said, how you like their house? They're like, hey, we have planes flying over us. Low planes. You know, it's like a private airport, you know, with Cessnas. And yeah. So what, what, after they did some research, what ended up happening is the, the flight plan is more than one runway. So, th so depending on which way the wind is blowing. Yeah. So then, you know, during two weeks later or three weeks later, they started using a different one runway yep. and it actually, the planes were actually flying right over their homes. Okay. Okay. So what we're talking about today is things that in our opinion, okay, I'm just stressing that, it's our opinion. I would not buy a house next to it. It might be the perfect house, but I won't buy it. So, so basically, or maybe just things to consider, consider and think about like looking a little bit further than beyond just that neighborhood itself might be a good idea to get an understanding of what's around it so yeah so i'll go over some things and maybe it's not a problem for you but maybe it's a problem for me and then you guys comment below and see if it's a problem for you do me a favor we're coming up with some really really cool content and we don't want you guys to miss it and we're also going to be doing a 60 minute podcast on something that i'm working on now and we're going to break it up and put it on youtube so we don't want you to miss that hit the subscribe Give it a thumbs up and share. So Bill, here's the first one, okay? If I, if you go in my backyard right now and you look in a distance, you can see power lines, the big ones. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. But, and I saw that, but they, they weren't close. I mean, you really, they're really far out. And I took a EMF reader, you know, and I made sure that there wasn't any, we actually did a whole video on it, remember? Yeah, yep, yeah, I've done, I've done a couple of those, I think. Yeah, so, if I, if I was buying a house and I saw power lines right above the house or next to the house, I would take, take an EMF reading to see what the flux lines are, basically what they called. And if they're high, I wouldn't buy the house. What about you? No, for me personally, if I was shopping for a house, that might be one of those that I shy away from. I mean, obviously there's plenty of people that live you know, by the, those types of power lines and, you know, the proximity of it. But for me personally, that's probably going to be one of those that I just go, no, I'm not, you know, and right. I'll, you know, I'll stay where I'm at. All <laughs> right. So here's another one. I was doing an inspection down by Riverview, a place, and I was up in the attic. Brand new construction. I think I told you about this. And when I was, when I was in the attic, the house started shaking. And, I, and I'm like... I remember this one. I was like, what's going on? I'm in the attic. And I, like the house was shaking. And then I hear... Choo -choo, like I hear it's the one I met you at. Yeah, it was that, another one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in that neighborhood. And as a white PVC fence, a six foot, it's new construction, and literally right next to the PVC fence, and the buyers didn't know about it. Okay, there was this train tracks, and this train had to be a mile long. Yeah, I remember that because that was, I remember I met you because I was down there working with another client. Yeah, you found the problem with the sewer scope. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I, yes, that one. Yeah. So I remember because we looked out back on that one and I was like, wow, it's so nice. It's it's just like, it, was, it was just some land, you know, because they were good sized pieces of property there. And then there was just this land and then a PVC fence and you couldn't see anything. And then I heard it and I'm like, what is that noise? And I go over and it's a train. And the train actually is so close that it puts a shadow onto the property. <laughs> yeah, I, it was, uh, I remember that one, yeah. So and they didn't know right. about it, so they went out to Google Maps, basically, long story short, yeah. and it's like, <laughs> I gotta explain this to my wife, because literally the house shook. So do a Google, do a Google view and see what's around there before buying any house. All right, here's another one. Industrial facilities, noise pollution, heavy traffic, you know, 
like, okay, so there's some industrial places, like, you know, over here, but th there's some, if it's a factory factory, depends on what they're producing, too. Right. There's a lot more that goes through counties just all over than you actually really know about. And there's a lot more industrial than you think about, too. If you kind of look around, they're, they're hidden. You know, like where we're pots. filming now, we're, we're in Tarpon Springs. There's a big bakery over here. Mm -hmm. And let's tell this bakery that they do all the pastries and the breads. I would live next to that because it smells so good. It's, it's Yeah, that's kind of the good and the bad. Yeah. Because it smells amazing and... I would be there every day eating. So that's, I would have to not live next to them. For what sure. about <laughs> basically, would you do industrial, like say a cement factory or? No, but here's some things that you do really need to think about. Just mm. stuff that uh, even in Dunedin, there's a couple of these. St. Pete's got them. Mm. Uh, Tampa, down, like the downtown Tampa area yeah. has a lot. Uh, it, just the things that you might not think about is depending on the time of day and what they're delivering, deliveries come in at night. True. Sure. Okay, so you know True. you might have tractor trailers coming in at night. Now, granted, the traffic's not as bad, but it is something to think about. Um, and then there is one place in Dunedin, actually, there the water treatment plant. Oh yeah. So if the wind changes direction, this particular neighborhood, it's not the best smell. Yeah. And See, they, it's a new neighbor. It's a newer neighborhood, so. And so you know, stay till the end of this video because I'm going to tell you guys the number one thing you guys should look at if you're buying a house. So basically, here's another one. Busy roads and highways. Okay. So some of the neighborhoods that I go into, you're literally taking your life going into it right. or pulling out of it. Yes. Okay. There, you know, you have to go through, across three lanes of high traffic to make a left or you know or pull into it i would definitely if it's dangerous pulling out you know i wouldn't buy it even my neighborhood right now okay on, 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 there's two exits okay one on the left if you turn left one on the right the one on the left i used to go down it all the time and yeah. make a left and now it became to the point that like you know what i'm going to use the one to, to the around. right and I'll just go around. Yeah, it is because it's hard to get make that left turn because you have to tr cross a lane of traffic, and it's a long stretch. And there's a lot of neighborhoods like that. So when you when you're looking at houses, definitely think about that. And it may be easy at the time you're looking. Let's say you're maybe on a weekend you're looking, so the traffic's not high. But go back and check that neighborhood out, or drive that area around rush hour, especially if you're close to like we have US 19, a main uh, thoroughfare through the uh, Tri County area. And there's a lot of neighborhoods that dive and, off that. And that can be a quite dangerous road. And there's a way that you guys could check all this stuff out within seconds. And I'll explain it to you towards the end again. Okay, airports. Okay, airports, we just talked about it. Those people bought it, they didn't realize it. And I'm not talking about major airports, I'm talking about small airports. Yeah, there's a lot of municipal airports. Even by your, by your house, I'm not saying the planes yes. fly over your house, but no. you, you, you have a small airport right there. Yeah, and they, they fly over some of the houses. Right, well, remember, air, if you're landing, I'm not a pilot, but I've been on a plane or two in my life, and it takes a little while to get that plane down. It's not like you just come down and land. No. Like on a TV show or something. You have so, to go down one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you, you're, you're landing. So just think about that. and Landing pattern, yeah. You know, and, you know, like the, even the airport by my house on the weekends are nice nights. You know, when the sun's setting, there's a lot more activity because people just kind of fly around the yeah, airport. Yeah, and I fly planes, so I know. Yeah. You know, it's exactly. not a thing. Yeah. And it's, it's not bad. What I will say with these things, though, is it's amazing what you get used to sure and you do not hear it anymore i think one day it was a holiday weekend and we were doing something at my house mm -hmm. and you're like you have an airport around you because we had a lot of planes flying yeah, around we're doing a video yeah that's right mm -hmm. and i was i don't even hear them and we don't see them that often the one plane that you saw there's this really it's actually kind of cool is it's a biplane yeah you know that's what we usually hear because it thinks really loud but it's a neat plane right you know, like Red Baron type stuff. So just check that out. Okay, garbage dumps and landfills, orders passed to reduce property value. And okay, I'm gonna go on a limb on this. There was a place that I read about in Florida and they used to be a dump, 
okay? And what they did is, back in the 50s, 60s, and then they cleaned it up as best they can, and they built homes on it. Okay. Okay? But the, the, somebody wrote, okay, is it true? I don't know, but cancer, you know, cancer and sicknesses and all that is higher than normal in, in that area. I don't know. I mean, I a, mean, do, but the whole thing landfill. is, yeah, it was a landfill, and you don't know what they put back it's there fun, in the fifties yeah. and the forties and stuff. And there were a lot less regulations back then on what you could put in. So you know, you're buying a house. Check out, you know, I wouldn't buy a house if, if the house was built on an old landfill or near a landfill or a current landfill that's just down the street. Because Bill was talking about before, maybe the wind changes and, yeah. and now you're smelling it, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Sewage treatment plants, that's what you were talking yep, that's about what I'm before. talking about. So you might go there, so I would find out where the sewage treatment plants is and make sure that you're nowhere close, close to that. All right, how about this one, Bill? Bars and nightclubs, okay? I don't mind bars and nightclubs, but I wouldn't want it right next to my house because A, noise, right? music, and then, you know, people that close those places, I'm not saying anything bad, but sometimes you might get rowdy people or, yeah. you know, walking down past your house or, you know, I wouldn't buy a house next to bars and nightclubs. Right. So things, let's, let's look at it a little bit more broad stroke to be a little more open to different stuff. So bars, nightclubs, and let's just say generalized events. Yeah. So let's think about like we have, um, the pirate invasion here, Gasparilla every year. Mm -hmm. It's huge in Tampa. So in certain areas in Tampa, around the water, not, I mean, I'm not talking on the water, but around the water, this thing is, this is a massive following and it shuts down the roads, whether you live there or not. Yeah. So you have a great seat for Gasparilla, but Gasparilla goes for a couple days and it is quite the event. The other side of that too, since we're talking about that stuff, is we also have a lot of major sports teams here in the Tampa Bay area mm. around the stadiums. Sure. You know, so because it kind of falls into bars, nightclubs, yep. and event event venues. Right. So maybe you're not right next to the event venue, but you're close. Those those traffic patterns bog you down on the weekends a lot. So just stuff to so, think about. So okay, okay. So I'm assuming you wouldn't buy next to one of those. Mm. Not my primary house. Okay. Flood zones. I wouldn't buy in a flood zone unless the house is elevated higher than the most highest thing. I would make sure the elevation is good or if it's on a still, if it's a still house. Otherwise, I would not buy. Okay. What about, what about this one? Prisons and this jails. Giggling. Yeah. Prisons, prisons and jails. jails. Would you buy next to a prison or jail? Probably not. Okay. Yeah, probably not. I wouldn't buy next to a prison yeah, or jail. Right, right next to? No. Or, yeah. Right, uh, I'm not saying people escape every day, but and I'm not saying. Well, I'm not worried about people escaping. It's more the just the bar, the look of it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's more. That's why a lot of times they have the jails out there. Okay. Well, well, and they don't want to spend a lot of money on it either, because you know they're going to put it into the areas that the land is not the. All right. How about this one? Would you buy a house next to a cemetery? Nope. I wouldn't either. It's an unsettling feeling. I I wouldn't want to see a cemetery. But believe it or not. I had a property and it had a couple of graves, but from you know, 150 yeah. years ago on the property. Um, that's what they used to do. They used to bury people right, in the backyards. Yeah. yeah. But to purposely buy a house next to a cemetery, what do you guys think? Would you buy a house next to a cemetery? I wouldn't. All right. How about this one? Power substations. Okay. They can be very small. So like, but, I would have to but evaluate. believe it or not, power substations make noise. Yes. And when when the current is in demand, they make even more, more noise. noise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing: we talk about power lines, but uh, over electromagnetic fields are a lot stronger on substations. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, they're probably twice as long. I read. All right, so you wouldn't do it. Schools. Okay, while they're convenient for families, they bring traffic, noise, and drop off and pick up hours. So I would have to evaluate that one because A, we have a lot of schools and it is only during certain times. Like I have a school in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So, and it's right down the street from my house. 
So for me, it has it, 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 no effect whatsoever because I just go to the next street and get out. I just don't go down the school zone area to get out. So I don't necessarily know that because it is it's convenient and there's a lot of master plan communities that have schools in them because of the convenience. All right. What about this one? Fire and police stations. Now, I live near a fire station and police station because they're combined, not around the block, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy next to one. I'll tell you why, because they might get a call three o'clock in the morning. And those sirens are going off. So you're, you're a fireman. It's true, right? So, they so, don't turn down the siren when they're leaving. If there's no, <laughs> if there's no cars in the road, what do you need a siren for? Oh, so, I didn't know that. So you're saying <laughs> yeah. when they leave the fire station, they don't just turn on the siren, right? Not away. all the time. No, no. In the middle of the night, we didn't run the siren as we pulled straight out of the the bay to to a call. We had the lights on and the engine starts. I would be, if you were living right next door. I would be more thinking about things like that, the the diesel engine running day and night, um, because you do run calls. I mean, we ran twenty some odd calls a shift almost uh, when when I was downtown, and I would think about things when the crew is checking out their equipment first thing in the morning. Some crews start at seven, seven thirty. We started at eight, so it might be a little early for you, and we have to check our saws and things like that. So those are the kind of things that I would be a little bit more concerned with. All right, so let's go to the next one. Hospitals, you get sirens and heavy traffic there. Would you live next to a hospital? I have a hospital in my neighborhood. Any issues? Not really. Um, we have so right next to the hospital, we have the uh, we have a nursing home as well. Ironic, they're right next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, I've no, so I thought there might be a little, because these were built after I moved in. Okay. So I've noticed a little bit more traffic. So I hear the ambulance will come through every once in a blue, but I will tell you from having that career, they generally, number one, driving through the neighborhood is probably the slowest way to get to the hospital. So they don't typically do it mm. because the hospitals are on the outskirts of the neighborhood towards the main drags. And that's okay. the way most of them are. So it really hasn't affected much. All right, what about this one? Shopping malls, would you live next to a shopping mall? Hell yeah. Noise, traffic, <laughs> late night activities. Okay, shopping malls could be convenient to when you're shopping. Right. Okay, would I live walking distance to it? Maybe, maybe not, it depends on the shop, etc. <sighs> I've lived close to the, I lived within walking distance to the mall in Clearwater, remember? Yeah. Countryside. Um, that mall was laid out really well. So even during like Black Friday and the holiday rush, it really didn't affect traffic. I live close to Tampa Prime outlets. So I live kind of sandwiched in between two huge malls now. And uh, the traffic is definitely an issue, but there's other ways to go. So I don't know, it doesn't, it's, I don't know. I guess it's all what you get used to. That wouldn't all really right. bother me. Sports stadiums and arenas. We kind of hit on that. Yeah, so, you know, I wouldn't do it. How about quarries? Dust, noise, and potential for ground vibration. Like over here, we don't have a lot of quarries, yeah. but in New Hampshire, we had we okay. had a, quite, quite a few. So yeah, I wouldn't live next to a quarry. All right, so here's one that I would definitely, there's two yeah. things I'm gonna add. One is, I might find the perfect house, but the house next to it, they take care of it like garbage, okay. or the house to the right of it, or across the street. And you know you have a house that's really nice taken care of, a house that's not. Usually they're not in HOA areas. If it's an HOA, pretty much you know everybody's house right. is pretty good. That's one benefit of an HOA. I'm not a big fan of HOAs. I always say it. I state it. I do videos on it. But when you go to a non-HOA, you're taking that chance that that person might have you know like I I went and did an inspection. Beautiful house, actually new construction, pretty much a two-year-old house. Okay. Next to it, they literally had a barbecue on the outside, like one that me and you seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couch on the outside, the front of the house. Yeah. And a broken down car. On the other side, they had a tarp for a roof. The house was perfect, but here's the thing. Then I got out of the car, and as soon as I get out of the car and I made a little bit of noise, and now I have dogs barking on both sides of me. Yeah, that's. I wouldn't have bought that house. Yeah, that probably, uh, yeah, I get, cause you know, th those are those things where when you are shopping, we're not in that frenzy mode anymore. And mm -hmm. you know, there's, 
while you're considering your offer or the, you know, your, your real estate professional is drafting up your offer, things like that. You know, I do encourage my customers to drive around the neighborhood at different times of day. Yeah, of course. You know, weekends, weekdays, morning, evening, that kind of just, you know, you're going to live there. This is a big investment. So unless, you know, maybe you, you jump on one of the videos that we've done of the tours and stuff like that, but you know, it's, you get an idea of what the neighborhood is going to look like. Yeah, and here's the big thing I was talking about at the beginning. If any house I would be buying, I would go do an aerial view with Google Maps or Bing Maps, and I would literally study it and see what everything is. You can see stadiums, you can see quarries, you can see railroad tracks, you can see airports. A lot of stuff that we discussed, you literally could see them on Google Maps or Bing Maps or something, just do an aerial view. I would never buy a piece of property without doing an aerial view. Yeah of of that and i would drive through that neighborhood at different times morning afternoon and night because i know some areas that you know during the morning they seem great they do but at nighttime they don't seem that great i'll leave it at that <laughs> okay so that's today's video if you have nothing to add nope we're good don't forget to subscribe really appreciate it it really motivates us give it a thumbs up and we'll talk to you next one thank you and have a great day Thanks. See you on the next video. Bye.